Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Justin and I are back. We are taking our second order of the night. We did have a McDonald's, it was quick and easy. Dropped it off, it was seven bucks is what it went up to. And now we are working on a Walmart Spark order. I didn't really wanna take it, but I've declined so many orders today. I was, I had Spark on all day. Uh, well, since like 10, 30 uh, this morning. And I shut it off about two o'clock because I just gave up. I was getting so many offers. I declined, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you how many. So my acceptance rate is probably really bad on there right now. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let me just take this one. It's not the worst order I've ever taken, but it's definitely not the best either. So uh, we're gonna go get a shop for and get it over with. There's a hoe trying to sneak into our car. Oh, it's just misty. She's got it. Well, it's a super slow night tonight, guys, as it has been for the past few days. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, I just got the Taco Bell order dropped off. Um, I tried to text her and call her to see, because it was like a weird, I don't know if there's like three units in this little duplex thing. Uh, duplex means two, but I don't know. Anyway, it's like a multiple housing thing. <laughs> yeah. And there's three, three front doors, and none of them have numbers on them, so... I didn't know which one to leave it at. So I texted, she didn't answer. Called, she answered, but she didn't say anything. It just You could just hear commotion in the background. So I was like, hello, hello, no one answered. And then it hung up. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave it at this middle door. You know, middle's a good guess. And she ended up coming out and grabbing it. So I'm, I guess that was the right place. But anyway, Walmart did send us a $35 order. She shot for like 70 something items. That's a lot of freaking items. So I declined it. I don't know if they're gonna send it back, but we'll see. This lady gave some insane instructions. Like, <laughs> honestly, I don't even know if this lady knows where she lives at this point. So as Justin was telling you guys, that lady gave weird instructions to her house, her apartment. She lives in an apartment complex. And um, she was like, she said the name of the apartment complex she lives in, and she said the name of the apartment complex next to her as well. So I was like, which apartments do you live in? Luckily, I could tell because the apartments next to her, they start at like 100 and go up to like two something because there's two floors. And the apartment she lives in start at, starts at like one and then goes up to, I don't know what the house number of those are. And so she said, I live across from number two. And I was like, why would you not just say what your number is instead of saying I live across from number two? So anyway, I sent her a message and was like, hey, I just wanted to clarify, you know, your instructions were a little confusing to me. Um, I said, so do you live at number two or you live next to number two? Or like, you know, what are you trying to say? And she was like, no, I don't live at number two. I live <laughs> at number 15. And I'm like, why didn't you just say that? But anyway, I found her and she was really thankful. She was like, you are the only dasher that has found where I live. And she was like, thank you so much. And she was like, I'm going to give you the best review possible. And I was like, thank you. But anyway, um, now we're on to the next order, which is also from McDonald's. We already have it picked up and we're not very far from drop off. I don't know how much longer we're going to go. I was only going a little bit later because we haven't gotten many DoorDash orders lately. And I was like, maybe if we go later, we'll get a few. We've started our lunch dash. We just dropped off our first order. It was to a local Mexican restaurant. And that restaurant is never ready when I get there. Very rarely. But it was ready today. And they just started having a new buffet at lunch. I think the buffet helped because they can, um, you know, focus on cooking the to-go orders. So that was nice. So I feel like I've said this a few times, at least in the last couple of videos. But Saturday and Sunday lunches are just non-existent on DoorDash anymore. I swear. I got the one order to the Mexican restaurant and I haven't gotten a single offer since and it is 12:47. So, I'm probably just going to turn Spark or DoorDash off for now. Uh, we may go sit in the Walmart parking lot to see if we can catch a couple of Spark orders. Um and I also have Uber on, although we very rarely get Uber orders. There's only like five restaurants on Uber here where we live, so I don't think very many people know they can order through there. But every once in a while we'll get a random Uber order, so we'll see. So I just took this Walmart order, and it's three different orders. <laughs> and we drive a Prius, if you don't know. It's a small car, obviously. And um, one of the orders, they're all small orders. Small as in less than like, I think, the highest one is like 11 items. However, two of them have like toilet paper and paper towels. One of them has two cases of water. There's like three packs of some kind of acai drink cans. 
So I don't know if we're gonna be able to load it all up in here, but we're gonna try to figure it out. They told us at this store um, several months ago that we had to stop getting out of the car and helping them load it. I guess it's like their policy now, I don't know. So I haven't been helping them load the car, but I thought about asking him if he wants help, him or her, uh, because it's probably gonna be a pain in the ass trying to fit it everywhere, so we'll see. But either way, we are gonna try to get loaded up here in just a couple minutes and we're gonna go get these orders dropped off. We got it guys, I got a bag <laughs> separating the two orders that are right here and then as you can see, kind of the big order is in the back, so it fit pretty good. I don't know why I was worried. We are back out after supper at 6 30 we just got our first order we had doordash and spark on spark came first with this pretty good order it's like 20 i think i said 23 bucks and it's only six items and they're all really easy items nothing heavy no cokes no water perfect order so we're on our way to pick this one up got the first order dropped off and we just got a second walmart order they actually sent me this one like seconds before the one that i just dropped off and i took that that one because it was way better and they sent it to me this one for $13 and some change I believe the first time and now it's 21 bucks so I'll definitely take it it's nine items um it's going to an apartment and I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the bottom floor I could be wrong um even if not I don't think it's anything too heavy I mean there's one case of cokes but the rest should be able to fit in a bag so um should be pretty easy you sure you got it you guys heard me ask her she didn't want no help. Finally got our first DoorDash order of the night. It's 7 dollars um, It's just a little $4 order, but it was just a salad from Wendy's. It was pretty much ready. She was finishing bagging everything out when I got there. And um, it's not going too far. So I guess it's not horrible. to get out this afternoon and dash and we literally got one order i had it going for about an hour and then i just gave up um we did get the one order dropped off i also got a 28 dollars spark order um but it was a shot for like 30 items and i just couldn't decide if i wanted to take it or not and the time ran out and i was just like oh well so missed that one but we got this curbside one just now um it is for three like medium size orders they're all around 20 items each so hopefully we can fit it in here well, you know, we'll try our best. We got the uh, curbside pickup dropped off. It took a minute to pick it up. Uh, I think it was a newer person. And I think somebody had missed a bag or something and he had to go in and find it. So it took a minute, but we got it all picked up and all dropped off. Pretty easy drop offs. There was nothing that crazy. Um, there was a couple of little six packs of like bottles of Cokes, but there was no water or nothing like that. So it wasn't bad at all. But we got that one done and we just got a shop order for $15 and some change. I think it's like $15.60 something uh, for nine items. And I think the heaviest, the only heavy thing is a bag of potatoes. All right, guys, we are next in line at the good old Sonic. We are picking up a Zordash order for, it says $7.50 plus. I'm assuming it'll probably be like $8. Uh, dollars. And they got one drink, which is nice. They did get a decent amount of food but one drink is really nice i hate carrying multiple drinks and then i hate when you get more than a couple because they hardly ever offer to give you a drink carrier and you ask for one and they act like they get mad about it <laughs> like it's you're inconveniencing them but anyway we're oh it's our turn i think <laughs> McDonald's order followed by a little Caesars order both were pretty good paying orders um I'm actually surprised because DoorDash has been really horrible the past few days if not a week um and then we just got a Wendy's order it was weird she ordered one combo meal and then one cheese potato and there's three bags and one of the bags is really full so hopefully they didn't give me the wrong food I checked the receipt it says her name on it on the bag they gave me so bags they gave me so anyway um yeah, we're gonna go get this and drop it off. It's literally like half a mile from the restaurant. Oh, what the hell? Is this what Misty's gonna do? This is like grown up really bad. 
All right, I got that one dropped off. It was a little sketchy. I'm not judging how that lady was living or anything like that. That's her personal business and who knows, you know, what she's got going on. But she said place directly at the door and I couldn't get to the door. It was full of trash and there was like buckets, big, huge, like those tubs. What do they call them? Totes, really Totes yeah. full of water and trash all at the door. And so I had to like reach over all that to try and place it at the door. I got as close as I could, but I couldn't reach that far. Um, but anyway... And I know it was the right address. It was a duplex and it had two. So I had like, you know, two houses in it basically. And um, the one on the right had the number on the door and everything. So that was a little crazy, but we got that one dropped off. Alrighty, I forgot to end the video. We didn't get anything else after that Wendy's order. And so we came home. But that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed and we will see y'all in the next one.